Texas. You refer to our flag, blue bonnets, and mockingbirds as significant symbols to a Texas community. No, these are emblems of identity and instill a sense of pride and connection with our home. What this version of Teeks offers to me looks a lot like socialism, like collectivism with no individualism. Let's build and teach first graders to build a foundation with solids and not adult concepts like the importance of collaborating with people of various cultures. How can a kid show respect for other cultures if he doesn't know his own? This revision seems to want to hey, teach a first on. grader. Can I pause you for just a second? Okay. Uh, this revision wants to teach a first grader who's still putting notes to the tooth fairy under her pillow about following Gandhi's lead to a peaceful protest. A first grader. CRT is already rampant and baked into our curriculum, and we don't want to be good little global citizens where our border is considered a military zone. I don't know what grade that was added into, but why? It's a border and it's good. Teach that. This is the land of the free, home of the brave. Be brave. Reject these teaks. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. So we've had testifiers come before you that actually could point to specific teaks, point to specific language in the, in, um, the rural text that, that they're addressing. I would ask the people that come and testify, if you're going to refer to TEKS, be specific about what you're talking about so that we understand that you actually have a, a legitimate concern or it's not something you're just hearing and reading and repeating. So you asked about borders, um, or you mentioned that borders are good. I think that, um, I guess I wanna understand if, what, what, of, what of the history um, on how borders were created do you know about? What did you learn when you were in school? I'm not an expert. I, I don't know. I don't appreciate your um, belittling. I didn't hear with a PhD. I didn't come up here as an educator or somebody on one of these work groups. I'm coming up here as a parent when my kids come home and they say, look what we did today in history class. And they say something like, which one of the Bill of Rights would you give up first? I'm sorry, that's leading the witness. No, I cannot find in the teaks and the 300 pages. And these parents are confused and we don't know. So I'm sorry, I'm up here testifying that's because understood. we don't understand. Understood. But, but then, I know the then, result. Well, but this is, this is where I'm asking, and this is a genuine ask. If you're going to be concerned about something and you're going to bring up those concerns, rather than speaking um, in absolutes, Perhaps come and ask us questions about how this was developed or where it can be found because we can help you with that and we can help clarify. And I'm not belittling, I'm just telling you, we have testifiers who've come and put a lot of hard work in researching their, their testimony and coming with us to, with solutions and, and questions when they don't understand something. And you just told our chair that you'd read it somewhere, or you heard it, you don't know. And that, that, is not a belittling, I'm just acknowledging what you have yourself said on the dais. And so my point in asking you the question about borders is there, that is a, a clear example of why we need the standards the way that they have been written because they're, they're, this country did not always have borders. This country, we're sitting on stolen land. And so those are things that we have to understand. Members, uh, uh, I'm sorry. So, well, that Your turn isn't or my turn. Because, okay. That isn't something that's in the standards. But what is in the standards is understanding our indigenous roots and understanding how uh, indigenous communities have been impacted. And those sorts of pieces of our history are very important. And so, again, I ask, what do you remember about learning about indigenous histories? I don't remember very much about indigenous histories. But to go back to the first long diatribe that you delivered, um, we parents quit our jobs. We, we left our careers and we have gone to school board meeting after school board meeting and we have spent hours and thousands of them ourselves trying to ask questions, as you suggested, begging for information. Where does this come from? What is the curriculum? Give us transparency. I'm here because the school boards won't answer. I'm here because our representatives on the state board don't answer emails. We need help. It's not going in a good direction. I'm sorry I can't answer your question about what I learned about indigenous communities in the border. I know our border is open right now and thousands are flooding over. 